doing a wet rub right now. I've got a whole chicken on the bone. Why am I using chicken on the bone? Flavor, flavor, flavor. This is a grain-fed, free-range chicken. You get so much flavor from a free-range chicken. It's running around. And if you don't have a free-range chicken, any chicken will do. Fresh garlic always helps, because garlic is the key to all good cooking. It's just a rough chop. You don't have to be exact here. Just have fun. It's a barbecue, and it's all about fun anyways. Mmm, rosemary. If you don't have fresh rosemary, dry will work here. It all works. It all works out in the end anyhow. Now, this is for my little Provencal trick, little French technique. You know, I gotta do that once in a while. Little fresh lemon juice. Oh, yep. Mmm. All that goodness. Little white wine. And any white wine will do in this situation. Don't go crazy on yourself. If you can drink it, you can cook with it. Last sip. Whack. Whack. Get that in there. All right. This is a wet rub. And what happens here is that this helps to start breaking down the connective tissue a little bit in your chicken. Tenderizes it for you. All the flavor marrying here at this point. Now, I've got to get this into this plastic bag. And how am I going to do that without making a huge mess? Come with me. This little pot. Yeah. Let's work here nice and diligently. There we go. Get all that goodness back into this plastic bag. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You can tell the flavor is going to come out very, very well. All right. So this is going to be cooked rotisserie style. Turning over and over and over. Great flavor. Now for my wet marinade. Okay. So I want to remove some of that white wine and that lemon juice, because if I have that on, that's gonna burn on the grill right away. I don't want that to happen. Now she's done. We gotta get her on the grill, but how do I get her to the grill? We have gotta get her all together, nice and tight. So I'm gonna do a little trussing process here. Very simple. Nobody starts sweating, okay? Very simple process. A Little bit of string. Here we go. Try to go halfway through. Do the old knot that we learned in grade one. <laughs> Come up around the sides. Another little tie here. Look at her, she's all bunched up. Beautiful. And get a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Tied nice and tightly here. Trust bird. Now, we still have to get her onto the grill and onto the rotisserie. On, about three quarters of the way down, finger tight. Pretty simple stuff so far. Through the cavity. Nice and tight. in it. Want it nice and tight so it doesn't flop on the barbecue. We're ready for the grill. Rotisserie. Come 
on. How easy was that? Drip pan here. Get this on. I have high heat, no heat, high heat. This will catch all the juices, but I'm going to do a little secret here. Let me show you. White wine. I use the same white wine that I marinated the chicken in. Simple stuff here. Little rosemary. Hour and a half, let the grill do the work. Wow. This bird's been on for about 45 minutes now. It's gonna give it a nice little baste here. We've got another 45 minutes and we're done. Now, my bird has been on for about an hour and a half. Doing my last little bit of basting on it. I know this bird is completely done at this point. Just wanna give it a double check here. And if you're not 100% sure, always use a thermometer. Go in between the thigh and the breast meat. Don't go all the way down to the bone. You don't wanna read the temperature of the bone, you wanna read the temperature of the meat. I'm at 180 degrees, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. You know this bird is done. Out, we're ready to go to the plate.